Hey, what's going on my friends? Jonathan Puga here and today I want to talk about um, how I got over my anxiety and my poor health. Um, wasn't so much poor health, but I wasn't like dying or anything, but just a very stressed body and uh, you know, I was, my health was decreasing, you know, so I have really good genes so that helps, but um, I want to let you know how I actually don't have anxiety attacks anymore um you know every day uh, i'm healthier and healthier uh, since i quit drinking and started eating properly so um the number one thing uh, well well first let's talk about what happened you know my first anxiety attack uh, i mean i had some miniature ones before because i've always been kind of shy and you know when i'm in front of a crowd to like public speaking and stuff my heart just started racing um, you know, it wasn't as bad though. That was like more of a just nervous kind of, but still, you know, I, I, I thought about it all night. I just stressed about it and, uh, until I did it and I kind of started going to more and started getting over that. Um, but never really, really, uh, got there. You just have to keep doing it and doing it. And I didn't keep doing it over and over and over. I did it and I did it a couple times and then I didn't really do it anymore. Uh, because I didn't really need to, but in, in order to get over that, you know, public speaking, talking in front of people, you have to just keep doing it and doing it. And a lot of way I cope with being nervous in, in any situation was drinking, which really didn't help. Drinking alcohol, it just kind of, you know, progressed things over uh, worse, worse. And um, you know, I've been drinking since I was, you know, started my first uh, first started drinking when I was 15, but didn't really get into it until I was 16. And then in my mid to early 20s, started drinking almost every day, partying. But, you know, when you're young, it doesn't matter. You know, you feel great. But as I became 30, 34, 35, 36, 35 is when, you know, I just was drinking a lot. I mean, even before that, I was drinking a lot, li liquor, you know, beer every single day, just partying. I mean, I'd go to work and work and then I'd, I'd drink. But I noticed when I didn't have the alcohol in me, my body was irritable. I mean, I was angry. I get angry real fast. My stress levels were very high. I wasn't even eating properly because I was too worried about drinking. Um, it, it was horrible. You know, all I did was drink, drink, and I'd eat, you know, something light uh, or fast food or just the wrong foods. You know, I wasn't eating my vegetables. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, drinking smoothies. I mean, none of that stuff. Maybe once in a blue moon, you know, I eat really good. But um, I quit. I quit drinking. Okay. I haven't drank. And this has been, it's been almost 60 days with some hiccups in between of last year. But this year, um, I have, it's been over 30 days, almost 40 days without me drinking anything at all. And I don't plan on drinking, you know, ever again. I, I don't need to. I, I feel so good and energized. I don't need it. I don't need it, and I know what it does. It, it, it all you do is you drink, you drink, right? You relax, aha, uh -huh, you know, you're having fun, and then you know you start drinking more and more, and then the next day you have a hangover, and then oh, you know, I feel like crap. Uh, you know, you want to chug water, and then you know you start getting kind of anxious and anxiety, you know, because you feel like crap, and then you know. What do you do? You want to drink a beer. You drink a beer or a shot or a mixed drink just to feel better. Or they call them Bloody Marys. Just to feel better, to kind of equal yourself out. That's a never-ending cycle. Never-ending cycle. You, I, I've noticed I don't miss it at all. I, I don't miss it at all. Because all it did was negative stuff to me. I mean, in the beginning when you're young, you could drink and have fun, wake up the next day like nothing happened. But as you get older, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. So I'm not saying you shouldn't have fun and drink, you know, when you're young. Yeah, you should. And just enjoy your life. That's a part of it. But, you know, having one or two drinks is actually healthy for you. But see me, I, you know, I could probably do that, but I don't want to do that. I don't even want it because, um, it, it, you know, to me, I, I've already drank enough. <laughs> I've, already, I've already done that. It's, it's done. I just want to put healthy stuff in my body and be the best I could be and live a long time. I want to break the record, you know, for the longest living man ever. <laughs> so 
uh, that's just that's just me. I'm a health nut. I've always been a health nut and and always taking supplements or vitamins and and ate healthy healthy things when I could. But you know, just over the over the years, I haven't been doing that every single day. You know, and and drinking, not exercising. Uh, as soon as I started exercising, like walking, running, riding my bike every single day, that is a major drastic improvement. My my heart rate is perfect, and it's actually um, conditioned like an athlete, you know, because I have good genes, number one. Now I exercise, and I eat the proper diet. I eat perfect, and I'm, I'm always, you know, moving around, walking, active, riding my bike, hiking, you know, whatever. You know, so I'm in perfect health now, and you know I don't have any anxiety anymore. You know, uh, sometimes you know situations might creep up, you know, and and I get kind of nervous or, you know, but that's everybody. Everybody has that. But as far as the anxiety attacks, what happens is when you have an anxiety attack, it just happens out of nowhere. You know, you just your heart starts racing uncontrollably. You can't breathe, and it lasts for maybe five minutes, uh, tops. I think about five minutes. And uh, you just can't breathe, and you're like, "What the hell?" You know what's going on, but you're like, "What the hell is going on with me?" And the first one you have, you're kind of freaking out. You're like, "Why is this happening?" But you're, it's actually a response to your body being stressed. It just can't take it anymore, and that's what happens. And what I was drink, I was drinking some kind of weird coffee with mushrooms in it. And uh, when I had it, and I think I had drank like four cups that day, or or more. But I noticed it started making me feel weird, that coffee. I think it had too much caffeine in it or something. I'm not sure. But the caffeine really did it for me. And, and drinking the coffee, uh, that, that certain kind of coffee, uh, was bad. And, uh, you know, just the stress and uh, me being overweight, that, that kind of did it. So I kind of threw it off as I was just coffee that made that happen. And then it happened again, um, you know, later, maybe a month later. Uh, I was just sitting you know in my office and i just got real anxious and and uh i don't know what it was i think it was from overeating and just stressed out about stuff and it just happened and then just that's it you know and then i was like what the hell is this you know why am i having these and then my last one i had was when i was working in the garage all day i was hung over as hell i was dehydrated and I was just pissed off and just, I worked all day in the garage, angry, just focusing on my anger. And I, I wanted more alcohol because I was hungover. I was basically an alcoholic at this point. And uh, I just, I was like, I went after I was done, I went inside and I sat down and I was just like dead. My body was dead and I was like, uh, you know, I was so exhausted. And then, I don't know, it just happened again. And then uh, I was like. I was just tired of it. I was tired of the anxiety attacks, me being pressured, drinking so much, being unhealthy. So I decided to change it. And little by little, I got to this point, and now I'm perfectly healthy. I don't have none of those anxiety attacks. And I like to help everybody I can and let them know, you know how, how to do that, how you can get over things, and just having a positive mindset because God will heal you. Your body will heal itself if you allow it to by putting the proper nutrition exercising and having the right mindset that's all you need to do and you can conquer anything and your body can beat anything so uh with that being said i just wanted to share that with you and uh if you like to subscribe to my blog or my vlog whatever you want to call it just go to jonathanpuga.com uh, you can click the link below here and you know i'll always send out like product reviews um you know health healthy tips you know fitness tips eating tips healthy recipes, all kinds of stuff. So um, hope you enjoy it. You have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll talk to you soon, my friend. And remember to decide abundance. Take care. God bless.